Hi guys. Good afternoon. <laughs> I'm painting in the afternoon. I've only got like 30 minutes, but I thought why not um, work on some final touches on this. I've been staring at it. Um, I got this much done in the demo. I'll share some progress photos. Uh, so we poured our background. Uh, I put it on a slant. The funny noise you're hearing in the background is my Doberman chewing on his ball. So anyways, we uh, put it like this. We flipped our painting over. We poured our trees on a slant. And then we used um, a scraping tool to scrape these lines, which is just a cut piece of plastic. So you just scrape, cut on lines, that kind of thing. And then I created a messy brush. I think I've misplaced it. Let's see. Here, here's one of them. So we used a messy brush. This is inspired by Kanta Harasaki, who teaches a way to do this with his uh, with super glue. So I will uh, share the link in the description box of his short sharing how to do this. So we used our messy brush and we made our foliage all while it was wet so everything was kind of bleeding in and out of each other. The colors we used in our trees was French ultramarine, Prussian green, red iron oxide, and envirofriendly brown oxide, and some Rossiana light. So it's hard to tell now because the green really spread, but those were the colors we used. We used the same colors except for the Rossiana light and Prussian green on our tree trunk. We did some dry brushing to symbolize some snow. There's just a couple little things I wanted to fix, like this guy doesn't look like he's going into the ground. Yeah, so yeah, hopefully I don't mess up. So I'm gonna play some music so you don't have to listen to my Doberman chew on his toy and um, just play with this painting and show you the final touches I'll add. Thank you. 